हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एक्स कोडर आयुष इन अवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव लर्न हाउ टू यूज असिंग अवेट फॉर ए इंटीग्रेशन यूजिंग स्विफ्ट यू एंड एम वी आर्किटेक्चर सो इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल लर्न हाउ टू स्टोर और परसिस्ट ए पी डेटा लोकली यूजिंग स्विफ्ट डेटा फ्रेमवर्क एंड वी विल कंटिन्यू विद दिस प्रीवियस प्रोजेक्ट यू कैन चेक अवर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल ऑन दिस आई बटन ऑल्सो आई विल मैंशन द लिंक ऑन डिस्क्रिप्शन सो लेट्स चेक वॉट इज स्विफ्ट डेटा सो बेसिकली स्विफ्ट डेटा इज अ फ्रेमवर्क टू स्टोर और परसिस्ट द डेटा लोकली इन दी एप्स सो बेस्ड ऑन दिस एप्पल्स डॉक्यूमेंटेशन कंबाइनिंग कोर डेटा प्रूवन परसिस्टेंस टेक्नोलॉजी एंड स्विफ्ट मॉडर्न कॉन्करेंसी फीचर्स स्विफ्ट डेटा इनेबल्स यू टू एड परसिस्टेंस टू योर एप क्विकली विथ मिनिमल कोड एंड नो एक्सटर्नल डिपेंडेंसीज यूजिंग मॉडर्न लैंग्वेज फीचर्स लाइक माइक्रोस और एनोटेशन Swift data enables you to write code that is fast, efficient and safe, enabling you to describe the entire model layer or object graph for your app. The framework handles storing the underlying model data and optionally syncing the data across multiple devices. So basically we need iOS 17 plus version and also macOS 14 plus that is Sonoma. And for more details you can check this out Swift data Apple documentation. Okay so for storing API response in locally in apps so first we have to convert this model compatible with swift data so for that first we have to import swift data package after that we will take this model macros so if you see the definition of this model it converts a swift class into a stored model that's managed by swift data okay so based on the definition first we have to convert this struct into class okay so here we are getting some errors model requires an initializer be provided for user model and type user model does not conform to protocol decodable and encodable okay let's create initializer for this okay so we have written this code for initializer okay so let's build the app and see if we got any error or not okay so we are getting one error observable as star is only available in iOS 17 or newer okay we have to set this iOS deployment target into 17 here this is fine okay now let me build the app okay build successful we are not getting any errors or any warnings that's cool okay so one more thing we forgot to mention here attribute okay attribute It specifies the custom behavior that swift data applies to the annotated property when managing the on in class okay let's take and so let's take the option unique okay okay so it ensures the properties value is unique across all the models of the same type okay so here we are declaring this id property as unique so i'm building the app again okay build succeeded looks good okay so in our view we will write one property which will fetch the data from local storage So first let me create one property user from local db Okay and we will give one macro here at the rate or annotation query a no attribute okay here also we have to import swift data Okay fine so for storing data we have to create one context so for storing the data we have to go to view model here we are getting the api response and we will save this in our local database here we have to add one model context so where model model context an object that enables you to fetch insert and delete models and save any changes to disk okay model text Okay so we have created one is initializer for this model context 
it is saying cannot find type model context in scope okay here again we have to import swift data okay fine okay so let's save the response into local db we are doing some insertion operation here so like this we will save the data into local db so for now this is not needed let me comment this one okay let's go to our view user list okay so we are getting this missing argument for parameter model context in call okay so for fixing this let me do one thing let me take environment object okay it is saying no observable object of type user list view model found a view hierarchy a view environment object for user list may be missing as an ancestor of the of this view we are calling this user list view in async await swift ui so i think here we have to do some change so here let me take environment object object so object will be our view model so user list view model here it is asking context okay so for this model context first we have to create one container so from that container we will get main context and we will pass here okay okay cool let me run the here set a dot model context in views environment to use query okay i think here we have to pass this container also container now let me run the app again okay okay we are now we are not getting that error and also we are having this data here so now okay so currently this api call happening all the time so let me do one condition if the data is stored in our local database then we will not call this api if this data is not available in the local database then we will call this api if user from local db dot is empty if this is empty then then only we will call this api otherwise we will not call this api i am setting the breakpoint here now run, running the app okay so currently api is not called so let me delete the app and we will do fresh install and then we will see running the app okay so first time this api call happened okay the api called and we are seeing this data from the response okay so now let me run the app again okay so now this api call not happened because first time this api called and all the response or data is stored in local db so now this api is not it okay cool okay guys so this is pretty much about storing api response using swift data with swift ui and mvvm architecture i will add github link for this project in the description if you like this video then please subscribe my channel and share this video thanks for watching keep learning and happy coding